children. Welcome back to your YouTube English Classroom. Today, with this lesson, you have a great opportunity to practice your listening skill. So, this is the fifth lesson of Unit 3. Where's everything? Children, now get ready with your grade 6 pupils book and your writing book. Do we put the adapi me padame di? Savandima sambanda kriya karakam dekat sidu karanawa. Eram padame mulasita akada kwama. Honda avadane nitu padame activities sidu karamu. Okay, children, are you ready? Well, let's start. As I told you before, today we are going to practice the listening skill. Listening. Savandima. Ingresi basha vata. Savandime kriyakarakam dekatamai. Adapi siddhukaranayane. The first activity is based on these things. Well, again, Palamuni kriyakarakama. Menname deval matatamai padanam venne. Try whether you can identify these things. What are they? They are the different shapes. Shapes. Had a thala. Okay, children. Now take your writing book and write down the topic. Shapes. Yes, write it in your writing book. Shapes. Kira matru kawa pidan liyagamu. Right, children. Now, look at these shapes and try to identify them. Palanno ya lata minna me eka eka shape aduna ganna pulu vadda kiyala. Here comes number one. What is it? It's a square. Square. Read the word with me. Square. S. Q U A R E Square. Now look at the second shape. What is it? It's a rectangle. Rectangle. Spell the word with me. R E C T A N G L E rectangle. Here comes the third one. What is it? It's a triangle. Triangle. Spell the word T R I A N G L E triangle. Next one is a circle. Circle. C I R C L E. Circle. Guess what's next? What is it? It's a crescent. Crescent. C R E S C E N T. Crescent. How do you call the next shape? Oval. Oval. O V A L. Oval. Look at the next one. It's a line. Eka irakne da. Eva ke me eka kelin pavati na irakne. So we call it a straight line. 
straight line. Spell the word straight. S T R A I G H T. Straight. Straight line. How do you call the next line? The vehicle goes in a crooked line. Crooked line. Crooked. Spell the word crooked. C R O O K E D. Crooked line. Here's another line. Well, how do you call this one? Yes, it's a dotted line. Dotted. D O T T E D. Dotted line. I know. You can name this shape. What is it? It's a star. Star. S T A R. Star. Okay, children. Now we got to know many shapes. Now try to name all these shapes. Can you? දුවේ පුතේ දැන් බලන්න ඔයාලට පුළුවන්ද කියලා මේ ඔක්කොම හැඩ තල හඳුන ගන්න name them with me the first one is a square square second one it's a rectangle rectangle third one triangle triangle fourth one circle next one star what's here it's the crescent crescent Next one oval oval next straight line straight line next crooked line crooked line and what's the last one it's a dotted line dotted line okay now we know all these shapes so let's go to our first listening activity duye pute waala taniyama me hada tala wala wachana liyanna bari nam haduna ganna bari nam anivarayenma me note ekwa alaga writing work ekata ganna e wageema me words padan karaganna ंग्रेन 26 We are going to do activity 6 Here is page number 26 and look at its activity 6 Listen and draw Activity 6 Listen to your teacher And draw. Teacher, the home can deal up. 
Adinna kiyala kiyana wa. Itin teacher ya lata listening activity ake di instructions. Upadis maala wak dena wa. Eke to hondin saman di la ya lata. Pintu reak adinna tamai me activity ake di tiyane. So look, here they have given us the different shapes with their names too. Square, rectangle, triangle, circle, crescent, straight line and oval. Now, using these different shapes, let's listen and draw. Okay, children. Now, turn to a new page of your writing book and get ready for the listening activity. Then, we will write a book in the book. All of you writing book is a book in the book. I am going to read the instructions three times. When I am reading the instructions for the first time, you have to listen to it carefully. And when I am reading the instructions for the second time, you can start to draw your picture. In the third reading, you can check your answer. Dwe pute den moyala, moyala ge writing book ke ka saha pansala ke hima aragana listening activity ke la esti venna. Palamuana vata vedi all the puluang, ema upades sarta odin savan denna, ema ge ema devane vata 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 upades sa heddi, moyala ta chitre andi ema ta patanga na puluang. Tungeni avasta vedi all the nevata, moyala ge pilitra niverade ke la pareksha karaga na puluang. Okay, children, now I think you are ready. So let's start this activity. This is the first reading. Listen well. Open a blank page in your exercise book. Draw a small circle in the middle of the page. Draw an oval just below the circle. It should touch the bottom line of the circle. In the small circle, draw two more small circles alongside each other. Draw a small triangle below and in between the small circles. Draw a crescent below the triangle. Draw two rectangles on either side of the oval. Draw two small squares below the oval alongside each other. They should touch the bottom line of the oval. Give a suitable name to your drawing. Second reading. Listen well and draw. Open a blank page in your exercise book. Draw a small circle in the middle of the page. Draw an oval just below the circle. It should touch the bottom line of the circle.
In the small circle, draw two more small circles alongside each other. Draw a small triangle below and in between the small circles. Draw a crescent below the triangle. Draw two rectangles on either side of the oval. Draw two small squares below the oval alongside each other. They should touch the bottom line of the oval. Give a suitable name to your drawing. Third reading, open a blank page in your exercise book. Draw a small circle in the middle of the page. Draw an oval just below the circle. It should touch the bottom line of the circle. In the small circle, draw two more small circles alongside each other. Draw a small triangle below and in between the small circles. Draw a crescent below the triangle. Draw two rectangles on either side of the oval. Draw two small squares below the oval alongside each other. They should touch the bottom line of the oval. Give a suitable name to your drawing. Okay children, I think you have drawn the picture and named it. Now let's check your answer. Hondai then api balamu ayala endala thiyena roopaya mama kiyapu roopayat ekka yala penawada kiyala. Children, now check your answers. The first instruction was to open a blank page in your exercise book. Mulinma kiyuwe oyalage liyana pothe අලුත් පිටුවකට පෙරලා ගන්න කියලා. Second instruction එක කිව්වේ 
Draw a small circle in the middle of the page. In the middle of the page. Page ke pitwe middle leke madhye draw a small circle. Kuda rauma gurtaya and in the kiala. Ehenang a pita me with yata a pe page ke madin kuda gurtaya and in the pudwa. Now we have drawn a small circle. Listen to the third instruction. Draw an oval just below the circle. Just below the circle. Circle like a pahalin. Draw an oval. Oval like a kandina kela kira. It should touch the bottom line of the circle. Eka circle like a pahala line nicker. Touch win noni. Eki gavin noni kira. Hena mena me with your toalata. Oval like a kandina mena. Ilan the instruction nakedi. It passe a bit a kiwa. In the small circle, punchirao me draw two more small circles alongside each other. Thawat punchi round deka kandin na kiala alongside each other. Patten patata like this. Ilangata kiwa draw a small triangle below and it between the small circles. Trikonea kandin na kiala pahalin saha medin. Small circles kuda urta balata like this. Right. Now listen to the next instruction. Draw a crescent below the triangle. Crescent eka kandinalu. Adasada kandinalu. Below the triangle. Trikoneta pahali. I drew a crescent like this. Listen to the next instruction. Draw two rectangles on either side of the oval. Oval leke de pattern and in nakiyanawa. Rectangles de kak. Okay. Like this, you can draw two rectangles. Ilagatamukata kiyane. Draw two small squares. Kuda squares de kak kadina. Samachaturasra, deka kandina kiela kianawa. Below the oval, oval lekata pahalin, alongside each other. Patten patheta. They should touch the bottom line of the oval. E dekama, oval leke pahala keravara, touch when noni, gaven noni kiela kianawa. Hena mapita, squares de kandina venem in the may with the other. Right. Antimata mapita kiwa. Give a suitable name to your drawing. Our drawing is called Galapena Namak. What is the name of So, what's your topic? Mention it in the comment section. If you have a picture of the picture, you can type in the comment section. This is my topic. That is a man. A man. Okay? Right. And also children, you may have drawn this same picture like this as well. It doesn't matter. Right? pictures It's okay. Have I a instruction sticker Hariatama Ala Pili What does this picture look like? It looks like a bird, isn't it? Someone may say it looks like a duck. Okay. Name your picture too. Right children. I think you have enjoyed this activity a lot. I am activity to enjoy this activity. I am activity Saha English Siverta Arduin Savan Dima. Enam Tavadurata Toyala listening activities Pedurata Kurla while a listening skill like a Vardane Karagan none. Hari Api Balamu, Ilaka listening activity Kat Kurla, I had a sample and a lakula baga and a pulu and the Kira. Okay, children, now we are moving to our second listening activity. For that, 
turn to page number 27 of your pupil's book. Now we are going to do activity 8. This is that activity, activity 8. It is also a listening activity. Read the given question. 8.1 Listen, follow the directions and name the buildings. As you can see, there is a picture of a map. Apita map peka ka sitiya na ka pintu raya dila tira. Apita kia na listen, sawan den na, follow the directions. E dila tira na, upades sanwa gaman karala, name the buildings. Good nagili, nam karan na kia la. Itin dango ya la ta sitiya na wa, me dila tira na map peka wala ke writing book kia ka to copy kara garna. Due kute hai na, mikmani inma. दारे सटाना के दिन हटो याला मैं दीला तीन ने मैप पे को वाला के राइटिंग बुक के कट कॉपी कर रखा है ना इतने पास से आपे लिसनिंग एक्टिविटी को सिद्ध करो। चिल्ड्रन इन ऑर्डर टू डू दिस एक्टिविटी यू हैव टू कॉपी डाउन दिस मैप टू योर राइटिंग बुक। सो प्लीज कॉपी डाउन टू योर राइटिंग बुक एंड देन मैं मैप पे का कॉपी कर रहा हूँ ना इतने पास से वीडियो एक अप्लाई करा रहा हूँ ना इतने को तो आज लिसनिंग एक्टिविटी का खराब ना पुलवा Okay children, now I think you have drawn a rough sketch of the map with the numbers. So now let's start the listening activity. As we did in our first activity too, I am going to read the instructions three times. When I am reading them for the first time, you have to listen to them carefully. And when I am reading the instructions for the second time, you can do the activity, you can mark the buildings and follow the instructions. And when I am reading the instructions for the third time, you can check your answers once again. Okay children, let's start. Listen. First reading. You are in C Street now. The hospital is on your left. That is number one in your map. Go along that road and turn to Upper Street. The building on your left is the pharmacy. Go along that road until you find the playground on your left. It is number three. You can see a junction. Mark it with the stop. Turn right from the junction to the station road. Go along the road until you find another junction. Mark it with two stars. Turn to your right. It is the market road. You can see a clock tower on your right. 
It is number two. Go along the road. You will enter the C street again. Turn left. The first building on your left is the bank. It is number four. Pass the bank. You will see a cafe. Behind the cafe is the market. It is building number five. You can buy fresh fruits and vegetables there. Second reading. Now mark your answers. You are in C Street now. The hospital is on your left. That is number one in your map. Go along that road and turn to Upper Street. The building on your left is the pharmacy. Go along that road until you find the playground on your left. It is number three. You can see a junction. Mark it with the star. Turn right from the junction to the station road. Go along the road until you find another junction. Mark it with two stars. Turn to your right. It is the market road. You can see a clock tower on your right. It is number two. Go along the road. You will enter the C Street again. Turn left. The first building on your left is the bank. It is number four. Pass the bank. You will see a cafe. Behind the cafe, is the market. It is building number five. 
You can buy fresh fruits and vegetables there. Third reading, check your answers. You are in C Street now. The hospital is on your left. That is number one in your map. Go along that road and turn to Upper Street. The building on your left is the pharmacy. Go along that road until you find the playground on your left. It is number three. You can see a junction. Mark it with the star. Turn right from the junction to the station road. Go along the road until you find another junction. Mark it with two stars. Turn to your right. It is the market road. You can see a clock tower on your right. It is number two. Go along the road. You will enter the C Street again. Turn left. The first building on your left is the bank. It is number four. Pass the bank. You will see a cafe. Behind the cafe is the market. It is building number five. You can buy fresh fruits and vegetables there. Okay children, now let's check your answers. Let's follow the instructions. You are in C Street now. Here it is shown where you are. You are here in C Street. The hospital is on your left. On your left, it's the hospital. That is number one in your map. They have told us that it is number one. So we can mark the number one as hospital. Hospital Kela number one marker Latianavana or the Ekalakuna Clavina. Go along that road, a para the get the Katamayana and turn to Upper Street. Upper Street, take a harren. The building on your left, Vayage, left one pathathathian building necker is the pharmacy Ekatamai pharmacy. Go along that road, a paradigatamayana, until you find the playground on your left. Agavampathe playground dekahamwena kam. It is number three.
So here we can name the playground that is number three. Mehemala playground dekat maakala tiyanwa na thawat laku na klebe na wa. Ilagata tiyanwa wa you can see a junction. Vada junction neka khandi abda ki inna pulu wa. Mark it with the star. Eka star eka ki tharuwa ki maak karan na kiya la. Vayala me junction neke tharuwa ki anala tiyanwa na vada thawat laku na klebe aga na pulu wa. Turn right from the junction. Junction neke dakuna te haren na. To the station road. Station road dekata. Go along the road. E paradike anna. Until you find another junction. Vaya thawad junction neka khamwe na kham. Mark it with two stars. E junction neka me vidyata stars deka king mark karana kya na. Ehena meelang junction neke me maala taru deka kandra tiyena wana mualta thawad laku na klebe na wana. Turn to your right. Vaya aage dakuna te haren na. It is the market road. Eka tamai market road deka. You can see a clock tower on your right. Pahagin dakuna pate clock tower eka ak dakhi inna poluwa. Orolosu kanu ak dakhi inna poluwa. It is number two. Eka tamai anka deka. Ehe nama pita mitana di clock tower eka naam kara anna poluwa. Right? Oala clock tower eka naam kala tiyan anna lakun ak da aga anna. Go along the road. Paradi ke me anna. You will enter the C street again. Oya nevata. C street tekata. Peminevi. Turn left. Vamata haren. The first building on your left. Aged vampata tiyana palaveni building nekata mai. Is the bank. Bank keka. It is number four. Eka number four kiya la tapin le si yama kiya la tiyana mani. Eh, dah hina ngapit a bank ye la a answer kat mark kerana na pulua. Here you get another mark. Hina alat thawat laku nak lebi nama. Pass the bank. Banku pahu kerana you will see a cafe. Orta cafe kat dah kena pulua ang wevi. Behind the cafe, cafe kat tu pita pasin is the market. Tiennne market teka. It is building number five. So we can mark the market too. Main thamai api te gandha pulu ang antima lakuna. Market kila marker la tiyan wana ngoya ala. Waal te thawa lakuna klebe na wang. You can buy fresh fruits and vegetables there. Vata in hidi. Now palaturu saha elevaru laba gandha pulu ang. So children, for this activity you can get marks out of seven. Vanda ehe na maala marks kiya karan tiyan wada kiya la waal ge. प्राइटिंग बुक के वाके हमें वीडियो के कमेंट सेक्शन के टाइप कर ला मटकी आना। ओके चिल्ड्रन, नाउ लेट्स आंसर द सेकंड पार्ट ऑफ दिस लिसनिंग एक्टिविटी। लुक एट 8.2। रीड एंड अंडरलाइन द करेक्ट सेंटेंस। नाउ चिल्ड्रन, यू हैव टू लुक एट द मैप एंड अंडरलाइन द करेक्ट सेंटेंस ऑफ दिस फाइव क्वेश्चंस। Okay children, now take 5 minutes, answer these questions and resume the video. questions so let's check your answers look at the first question what is the correct sentence on the corner of upper street and c street c street take a upper street take a calibre at the end so a is the answer for the first question Second one, the playground is opposite. Pridanganya tiyane viruddha pate, monadeta viruddha pate da, pharmacy akate viruddha pate ne. So A 
is the answer. The playground is opposite the pharmacy. Third one, the clock tower is next to. Clock tower ekati enne mukagavada. Next to kiyane abadava. Yes? Clock tower ekati enne. Pasrade abadava. Next to the school. B is the answer. The clock tower is next to the school. Fourth one, the cafe is next to the cafe. So, A is the answer. The cafe is next to the market. Number five, the sports club is in sports club. Park Neither. So, the answer is C. The sports club is in Park Avenue. Right, children. That's how you have to answer for the second part of Activity 8. Okay, children. Now, we have successfully answered two listening activities. That's the end of today's lesson. So, I'm giving you your homework activity. Here it is. Read the question, please. Draw a picture using the shapes that you learned today and give it a suitable topic. Using the shapes you learned today, you have to draw a picture and give it a suitable topic. shapes Okay, children. So, today in this lesson, we did two listening activities on different shapes and uh, giving directions. So, I think you learned something new. Thank you very much for coming. Let's meet with the next lesson soon. Till then, have a nice day. Goodbye, children. I am Sabri Teacher.